Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing the smooth moving average. But before we do, if you have not watched my first video and the videos after that, you need to go do that right now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down in the description below. You can also find a link to our Discord server, so that way we can all discuss testing indicators and building our trading system. And lastly, you can find a link below to TradingView. If you sign up for a paid account, you will save a little bit of money using the link below. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the smooth moving average. But before we do, I wanted to put the indicator scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested 59 indicators. And out of those 59 indicators, 18 of them have been winners, which means that they have met or exceeded the 60% win-loss ratio threshold that we have set for them. The best one so far was able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch that video to understand the context of how it was able to achieve that. But as we are working on building the best trading system possible, you can take any one of those 18 indicators and get out there and start profitably trading the markets with them now. So go back and watch those videos, make a list of those indicators and get out there and see what you can do with them. But stick with us here as we work on maximizing your trading profits. All right, as I said, today's indicator is the smoothed moving average. And this is the last moving average in the moving average head to head that we have been testing in the last handful or so of videos. And so, um, yeah, the smooth moving average, pretty simple. It is the purple line right here. It, uh, we are doing a, a price action break on the moving average. So when price action breaks down below the moving average, that is a signal to go short. When it uh, breaks up above, that is a signal to go long. And that's how we will be testing it today. I can already see that the smooth moving average is reasonably different than the uh, rest of the moving averages that we have tested. So it'll be interesting to see what exactly the smooth moving average can do. Once we get to the end of the year here. So there's the first signal there. That would have been a win. There's a the second signal there. That would have been a win. So, heh, so far so good, right? That's not, uh, it's not count our eggs before they hatch though. See, that's a break above there. Would have been a loss. When it comes down, that would have been a loss. Because it ultimately goes back up there. That would have been a win there. So already a reasonable difference compared to say the um, volume weighted or the uh, the weighted moving average which we did in the last one does look like that one did come down and break We're making its way back up. Same with this one. Came down and broke. Turned around and made its way back up. Right about here. I mean, 
it seems to be holding its own pretty well here so might have something decent there unfortunately came down here and broke up above here seems to be giving um, more signals than the other ones could be wrong but it it definitely appears to be throwing out more signals so that is that is interesting But at the same time, it seems to be throwing out you know, decent signals. So it's okay if it over trades as long as it can do it in a profitable manner. It's interesting. It, um, it held out a while on this one. I remember on the rest of the moving averages, um, there was definitely some trades going on in there so some losing and some winning trades but that's all right and it got a nice call on that right there we're getting close to the end of the year now let's finish out the last few signals here Alright, let's see. So this is the last couple of signals. That is officially the end of the year. Let's add them up and see what we get here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So, interesting. Uh, reasonably less trades than the rest of the moving averages were giving off um i think the rest of them were right around the like 24 25 26 marker somewhere in that area so hmm, fascinating all right let's see how many wins one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so unfortunately it is right under the 60 percent again that is um yeah that's that's rather interesting to note that uh the majority of the moving averages are really close to each other um it's really interesting to note that some of them are giving a reasonably uh you know a, a reasonably more uh, number of signals and some are giving a reasonably lower number of signals but they seem to be all in all right around the same win-loss ratio percentage so uh, with the exception of one and that was the exponential moving average which um, I mean you know even looking at that one was not um, heads and shoulders above uh, the rest as far as wins go it's not like it was able to achieve a you know a 75 percent win rate or something along those lines it was barely able to squeeze out the 60 percent but it was the only one that was able 
to actually achieve the 60% win-loss ratio. So uh, it does look like the exponential moving average is the best option. And so it is on our winning list of indicators. And so that is good. That's something that we will play with and start exploring as we dig down deeper into the indicators and start tweaking them and testing them a little bit more. But uh, yeah, there you have it. So that was the official head to head uh, videos on the moving averages and um, what they were able to achieve. If you have not already liked this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime I post a new video. As part of the team, it's important that you are seeing the new videos as they come out so you know what it is that we are discussing and what indicators we are testing, have tested, and have not tested. Also, like usual, there is a link below in the description to the Discord server. You can join us on Discord so that way we can further discuss the indicators and have discussions as we move forward building our trading system. And lastly, like usual, there is a link below to TradingView. If you like what you see whenever I use TradingView, and you are interested in signing up for TradingView, if you use the link below and sign up for a paid account, you will save a little bit of money. So, all right, everybody, I will see you on the next video.